Hey guys, it's Brooke here and I just wanted to do a quick video because I had to get this out. Um, I had another weird dream last night and I'm going to just talk about it because it was very quick. It wasn't a very, very long dream, but I feel like I really need to get it out there because um, I've been having these types of dreams for a very long time. And as a truther and as a spiritual woman, I look into my mind. I always meditate and pray before I go to sleep to, to figure out what's going on in the world understand what's going on with um you know what's going on with everything so I had a dream last night where I had these types of dreams before I was in a city I don't know where um I can assume New York because I live in New Jersey but it could have been somewhere else I was in a city and it had to been around 11 o'clock at night 11 or 12 o'clock it was a time where there wasn't that many people outside and I was standing with a bunch of people who are wearing suits and they were talking and stuff and like and they were talking about a party like yeah we're gonna go to this party we're gonna have fun tonight and I'm like who are you guys and where am I I'm thinking that in my mind in the dream I'm like but whatever so it was a guy he had a fresh suit on and you know he had a, a really fancy hairdo and stuff it was a it was a Caucasian gentleman it was a few people and we're about, they said we're about to have fun and show you something. I'm like, okay. So this area that I was in, it was very quiet. There weren't that many people around. And it, it was just very, very dark outside. And it was a huge building. Like we were kind of across from this building, like a few, I guess, a, a, a distance away. And I know this sounds weird for a dream. Like this is probably a weird part, but like. So they shot a grappling hook at this balcony of this window of the building. It was a little bit of a distance away. And they're like, we're going to zip line over to this balcony. And I'm like, you guys fucking crazy? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm like, dude, we're going to die. And they, they were like, so? Who cares? Like, it seems like they don't care about death because they've probably mastered a way to, you know, not die. So we, so I was like, fuck it. So we zip lined to the balcony of this really tall building where it didn't look like anyone was in it. And we got to this window and we, and I opened the window, I mean the um, sliding door and I was in a room, I was in a hotel room. And in this hotel room, there was a bunch of people with wine glasses and stuff and they had suits and, and these people looked like they were extremely rich, very, very rich people to do pretty much whatever the hell they wanted to do. And they were talking to me and I saw this woman who was sitting on the bed. The hotel room was kind of, it looked like a kind of like a, you know, it wasn't like a really, really fancy hotel room. It was like a regular small room with like two beds in it. Um, and it was like this yellow, like this yellow light shining. And I saw this woman and and she looked like she was staring off into space. And I'm just like, who is this woman? It wasn't me. It was. It looked like a, a Asian chick. She looked like she had um, Asian features, and she was just sitting there. I'm like, "Who is this woman?" And they laughed, and they laughed, and and they were like, "What do you think? You're a smart woman." And I thought about it. Like, is she a clone? And they laughed, and 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 they laughed like, and they're like, How, "Come on, I'm gonna show you something." So they took me around this this room, and I saw a bunch of women there. And it looked really spaced out. I thought they were either, you know, drugged out or something or something else weird was going on. And they were like, so, so are these clones? Are, are these clones? That's all I was thinking in my mind. And, and they were like, and they just kept laughing. They didn't really answer the question. They just like, whatever. So they showed me some things in this building. In this building, now I'm going to just make this clear, and I'm not sure if this is true or not, and I'm, I don't know why I have I keep having dreams like this, but I'm going to just say what was in my dream. Some of these office buildings that we think are office buildings are actually, no one's really in it. No one's in these buildings. The only people that are in these buildings, and they're highly secure, there's a lot of security around these buildings. Only people that go in these buildings are the 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 elite the the very rich the very wealthy and the people that are pulling the strings on pretty much everything in certain cities and these entire buildings are dedicated each floor is dedicated to something else so one floor might be dedicated to technology like these buildings are are scientific buildings 
some floors might be dedicated to cloning and some floors might be dedicated to ritual. Some floors might be dedicated to sex and killing and rape and, and all kinds of fucked up shit. And they were showing me this shit and they were laughing. I'm like, why are you guys showing me this? They don't care. Like, I'm going to make this clear to you guys. These people are very arrogant. They think they're masters of the universe. They, they want us to know about this stuff. They want us to know because they think that they're brilliant. They show me like rooms where they have technology, where they can go into your dreams and implant thoughts like Inception. They have floors in these buildings where they do clone people and they, and they have really fucked up, you know, experiments with people like they create whatever they want. They have floors where they just eat people and, they, and it's bloodshed and, and they don't care because they feel like, they, like they truly believe that do whatever you want, like do what thou wilt, like from Aleister Crowley. And I read his, his stuff too. And he, he is a, he is a very good magician. I'm not going to lie because he got a lot of his stuff from Kemet. He got a lot of his stuff from African science, but he, they, they, you know, they always try to twist things around. Like he took beautiful metaphysical science and and sometimes he just turned it into something very uh dark really but um so they really truly believe that do whatever you want they don't care they already told me someone told me in the dream like look we're rich we don't care we we're not bound by the monetary system anymore we we control the police we could do whatever we want i'm like you know and and the higher the floors get in this office building, this building is huge, the more fucked up it gets. I'm just going to keep it like that. The more fucked up it gets. They do heavy, heavy, heavy ritual on the highest floors of these buildings because um, I think that's where they get the most energy and the energy is like an umbrella and it trickles down to the cities below where they're trying to really cast spells on people. They even have... Um, I remember in one of the rooms, and, and I'm sorry if I'm like, the dream was very hazy. It was very hazy. It was like very in and out. One of the rooms, there was a huge triangle, and there was a clock that tells the time. And it kind of looks like the pyramid and the all-seeing eye, but it was a clock. One of the rooms had that in it. I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know if this is just a vision for me to look deeper into this. I don't know if this place actually exists. I just do know that in this dream, this felt very, very real. But you know, they always fuck with your mind. Sometimes they know how to implant thoughts. They really do. I mean, they know how to fuck with your mind. So I'm not sure if this is real or not, but I have had a series of dreams where I was in these buildings and there's like, they're like buildings that are dedicated to technology and ritual, um, magical ritual. On the lowest floors, I think they have like um, the these cloning centers and stuff underground and stuff. And when you get to the higher floors, it's more dedicated to uh, magical, satanic ritual. Um, but I, I'm not sure if that's true or not. I just this is what I'm seeing in my mind, and my spirits tell me I need to look more into this because this is very serious. That if I keep having the same type of dream over and over and over, I had several dreams where I was in buildings at a very late, late hour in the, in the night, like maybe two or three in the morning, three o'clock is that magical time. They always, I mean, spirits travel all the time. They're, they're here all the time, but there are sp- particular times where they really do dedicate their time to ritual and magic. And it's usually very late at night in these buildings, in these buildings where there's really no one in it, but these these um, elite people, they go there for the, their little secret parties where they just do drugs and kill people and, and clone people and, and they go to each floor. Each floor has something going on on it, all right? I'm not sure if this is true. I could be losing my mind. <laughs> I could be tripping out, you know? I don't know, but I don't know. It's just a consistent dream that will not stop. It's, it seems like there's a, a force that's trying to get me to really look into this. Um, cause I had a dream before that I was in a building, another type of building. And in the dream, I became conscious cause I, the more you meditate before you sleep and the more you focus on what you, you know, wanting to stay conscious and aware of your dreams, the better you get at it. And then you get better dream recall. And then you get better. Um, you become more conscious in your mind when you sleep. And one time I had a dream where 
I was taken somewhere and everything was fuzzy. Like it was really fuzzy in and out. And I was in a line with people and we were all wearing like particular suits, I guess. And we were all in a line and we had to walk together and we all had to like, um, go into this place where it seemed like it was some type of virtual reality type shit or, or it was crazy. And in the dream, I, I, I kind of just woke up in the dream and I was like, is this a cloning center? Am I in a cloning center? And I started freaking out and I, I started freaking out and everyone looked at me and then there were people like I was running. I, w- I started running and running and running. And then there are these people that were chasing me. And as soon as they got to me, I woke up in my bed. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm going to make sure that I look into this because I really do believe that there is something going on with regular people at night, especially at night. I believe there's some technology that can get in your mind on some inception shit. I do believe that there are clones and I do believe sometimes these clones could be attached to your mind because they could put that chip in the, in the clone or put that chip in your DNA. Uh, they, they, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know, but they do something where they can connect to your mind and they, they get in there and they have fun with you. And these people, they don't care. They're like, yeah, we do have fun with people every day. So, and the one thing that they really, really like that I've noticed is they love people who are new. They love bringing people in and they love breaking people slowly. Like they're like, yeah, we're evil. Like they, they, it's like they get off on being evil. It's like they bring people in, they show people, you know, what they do and stuff and, and, and they might clone somebody and have their consciousness attached to it. Then when you go to sleep, they show you and stuff and, and they, they're excited about it as if like they're a child that wants to show off their new invention. Like, yeah, we do clone people and, ha- and, and we do this and we do this and, and we do talk to the spirits and, and they're really arrogant about it. But what they don't understand is that they're doing acts of evil and they will pay their karmic debt because you can't just do whatever, do what thou wilt. That's not true. You can't, everything has consequences. Yes, you can kill people. You can do hideous things to people, but there it, you do have to pay for these things one way or another. You have to pay spiritually, you know, you have to live with the things that you've done inside and you can't get rid of that unless you get, um, you know, unless you pray for forgiveness and, and you cleanse yourself out of the evil things that you've done, it takes a process to clear that out of your system. But you can't get away with this stuff. You just can't. It's with you forever. It really is. Every person in this world, they always remember the things that they, they wish they shouldn't have done. You can't get away with this stuff. You just can't. They're so arrogant. They really believe that they are God. They might be God of these worlds, of the lower worlds, but they'll never, ever, ever get into the higher realms. And the, and the higher beings told me that in a dream, these people are so fucked up and they, and they only look at us as, they don't even look at us as human. They just see us as toys to be played with. Like these are children and they're playing with us because they have their cool little technology and all this stuff and they, and they can go into people's mind have you guys seen that that show? I mean, that movie called Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. Well, they're dropping a lot of gems in that because um, in that movie where the character, um, Jim Carrey's character is um, going through his own mind because they're erasing all the parts of his mind that have to do with the, the girl that he broke up with. That's some real shit. That's not no bullshit. They have shit like that where they could go in your mind, go through each memory and dream and do something to it. Or they could have... There, there's so much going on. And they're putting it in the movies. Check out the island. I think that, that... That's exactly what it looked like when I was in this dream. There were people that were walking around looking like robots. Not knowing what the fuck's going on. In a building in one of these cities. Because each city I believe has a cloning center. And I believe each city has a building dedicated to technology to intrude people's mind. I really do believe that. I know that I sound like probably a crazy conspiracy person, but I mean, I can't deny the dreams that I've been having. If I've been having the same damn dream almost every fucking week about this building where they're doing stuff to people and they're they're having fun with us because they're having a good time. It's like a party to them, but they get bored with it. So they want to recruit people. So I think a new thing that they're doing now 
since everyone knows about the Illuminati and it's not a big fucking secret, I think they're really trying to come to people in their mind and trying to recruit people because they know their time is up. They're trying to recruit regular people um, because they're getting exposed and they, they need an army and they do not have the majority because we have the majority. There are more people in this world than them. And they know that. So they create these technologies to be able to control mass, mass amounts of people. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for saying this. I think they're having fun with me, to be honest. I think they, I think they want to have fun with me, you know, so they come in my dreams and and they're, it's like a party. Like it's like they want to party with me, you know, because at first they seem all nice and it's always the same story, especially when I hear these rappers and these musicians who are breaking into the industry. They always say like, it's always fun in the beginning. They, they have fancy dinners and parties and stuff. And then they slowly break you in and shit starts to get darker and darker and darker. And I think that they're trying to do that with a lot of people when they sleep at night. It's like, there's no secret anymore. Yes, we do this. We're masters of the universe. We don't care. Do you want to join us? Because at this point, they're getting really desperate. I mean... Because people are starting to wake up. We're, we're getting a lot of angelic help, trust me. Because the angels and the benevolent ancestors and beings, they're making sure that we are aware of what's going on. For those who are brave enough to look into it. Because I'm not going to lie, this shit is scary. It's, it's fucking scary to, to go to sleep at night and wake up somewhere else where you're looking around you. And, and they clone people you know too. It's not just... You, it's, it, I've seen people I know and they do this in their, in, in your dreams. Like they fuck with your dreams and everything. And they, and this shit is real. This is not no bullshit. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be coming on YouTube to make myself look like a fucking idiot. Like this is some real shit. All right. They clone people, you know, too. And they, they, they put you in weird situations with people, you know, and you think in your mind that that was my thought, but it's not. They implanted that thought. Because they have a chip in your clone's head or something. Or they got some technology where all they need is your blood, right? They need your blood. And, and you know these hospitals be selling people out. Because I believe that the, if you don't, if, if you can't pay these hospital bills, what they end up doing is they probably sell off your blood to the cloning center. These fucking hospitals know about this shit. But they act stupid. You know, these people are arrogant. They get off on just lying to people's faces. Because I know there's some cloning centers in these hospitals. So, and I know they do experiments on people by giving them these, these drugs they make in the laboratory. And it is some, it's some scientific, it's just some evil scientists. Okay. Evil, evil scientists. And they don't care. They feel like they really truly believe that there are no consequences for your actions, that you can do whatever you want in this world. And that is not true. That is is completely not true. But anyway, I'm going to end it here, guys. Um, please in the comment section, if you guys have been having a series of dreams where you're going to sleep and you keep waking up in some office building somewhere, like this abandoned building where you see a lot of strange people around you that don't look real and things like that, just put it in the comment section because I just want to make sure that I'm not crazy. Because <laughs> if I'm crazy, I'll just admit it. Like maybe I'm just crazy. But if this dream is happening over and over and over and over again, where it's like, it's a reoccurring thing. There has to be something to it. It's like my spirit is trying to help me understand what's really going on. I mean, for fuck's sake, I truly believe that this is a huge alien experiment that's going on on this planet. I really believe there's a lot of fucked up shit going on. I don't believe this world is real. I believe that we are in some type of weird holographic reality that's being controlled by evil scientists pretty much evil people, evil magicians and evil spiritual, all walks of life that you would think is the worst and the worst of, of human kind got together to control everybody and put everyone under, um, a matrix. I really do believe that. Um, cause I don't believe that this world is real completely. I believe this is a world of illusion. I believe this is a world of control because they don't give a fuck about money. You guys got to understand that these people that these celebrities get killed by, like these star whackers that Randy Quaid spoke about and his ass went to Canada and said, fuck this shit, I'm out of here. Like, But I'm pretty sure they got to him too because when you start speaking out against the system, they take all your money and 
They, they make you look like an idiot and stuff like that on TV because they control the media. So they have the power to make you look stupid and crazy. But in reality, these people are really trying to speak out for help because this, this is not a joke. This is some real shit. Like they, they have technology to infiltrate your mind when you sleep and they have technology to, to infiltrate your DNA and everything. It's really, really bad. So, all right, guys, if you guys had any dreams about being in some building, some abandoned buildings where there are people that have really nice suits and stuff showing you things, showing you weird things, please let me know. All right. Bye.